going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so today i'm going to be showing y'all how to replace the leveling valve on your truck and i guess how to do it the right way i mean it's pretty self-explanatory the directions that you get with the uh, the little box it's pretty simple um basically just remember this is on a classic so it goes basically this way the centering pin keep it in there take off the old um lines and just make sure that you know you put some teflon tape so it doesn't leak and replace it but i'm gonna be showing you how i do it because um the reason i'm replacing mine to begin with is because there's something wrong i don't know it just i just feel like it's not dumping the air i feel I don't know it just it's been riding different ever since so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just go ahead and replace it and see if it changes anything because i have noticed even with a brand new trailer it's been riding a little weird so yeah let's get to it so some of you guys your leveling valve might be there or like my dad's truck it might be in the back like right over there uh so mine is a little harder to get to so the first thing i'm gonna do is take the rod off obviously then we're gonna just disconnect all the airlines and remember air will come out of there just uh you know make sure that um you take pictures and just remember where everything went because you do not want to forget and mismatch the airlines because they all have a specific you know job they do so garage and i had to go to tom neal and buy every valve brand new uh reason being was you know <laughs> the old ones were just old and it was time to be replaced and these little thingies on the inside of it were just falling out so you know why not just go ahead and replace them all so that way everything's new and i know everything is good so this is the new one i got the pin in ready to go actually that is the wrong way i believe actually no it's the right way it goes like this okay make sure you got the pin in and i don't know for some reason i can't get out that bottom fitting right there it's giving me problems i'm gonna try to do it again but uh yeah we'll see what i can shake with it uh but yeah all right guys i got it man so there it is all installed now I'm just gonna have to follow the instructions. Disconnect, blah, 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 remove, reconnect the airlines, the air supply is connected to the top. Adjust to approximate ride height, install centering pin and holes provided in valve. Adjust final ride height using freight liner recommended height and then remove the centering pin. So let's start her up. Hopefully everything is good. wasn't doing its job and I could tell the airbags were raised higher than normal and the truck rode different I knew it for a fact so yeah I'm gonna tidy everything up and then move on to the next thing all right guys so that's done <clears throat> I ended up putting this like friction thingy uh that my dad got me a while ago he kept telling me to put it in the in the in the oil but I never did but I just did and then like when the truck's on definitely uh smooths out you know like the vibe like the friction coming from the engine uh but listen one thing i did want to talk to you guys about is it doesn't seem like this economy or the freight market is in any repair 
even going into next year, uh, it's honestly sad, dude. You know, it seems like it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And we're basically just trying to stay afloat. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I mean, I'm working as much as I can. Hence why I haven't really been uploading because I'm doing the same stuff. I doubt you guys want to see the same runs every week. You know what I'm saying? So coming from, you know, one of our brokers that we normally use to book a lot of loads from, he informed us that starting next year of January uh the 23rd that the rates are going down even more for the stuff that we are running and i mean it's really unfortunate and that's literally the rates are going down because you know everybody keeps getting underbid there's a guy out there that'll do it for you know two three hundred dollars cheaper even when the rates are already at two dollars a mile it's it's insane dude um but yeah i mean i I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, it's honestly pretty sad. You know, I figured, you know, we'll ride out this tough year and then we'll be okay. But who knows? No clue, man. I mean, yeah, you know, there's other things out there that are probably paying. You know, I know, you know, dedicated freight and all that stuff. But eventually, I mean, you know. some people eventually man i mean they're gonna start dropping the rates it's only a matter of time it's crazy bro i figured that it would get somewhat better you know but i mean i'm not really i, I don't want to tell you guys to worry you but this is just coming from the word of somebody that works at ch robinson you know and they're one of the biggest brokers out there next to tql and you know xpo probably i don't even know to be honest but ch robinson's they're always in the news so yeah it's pretty unfortunate so we'll see man i'm gonna hang in there until i can't hang in no more um because i got a lot of repairs to do uh my front cover is seemingly getting worse and worse it's leaking and i don't have the money to fix it dude then again on top of this i got this stupid vibration you know and <laughs> The transmission probably is going to need to be replaced. You know, it is what it is, dude. There's not really much that, you know, I can do about it or anybody can, you know, really do. So, just going to have to hang in there, man, you know. Maybe eventually just go back to being a company driver. Who knows? I mean, you know, yeah, there's people out there making money and whatnot. But on the drive-in side, it's sucks and just let you know kind of what i heard through the grapevine and uh yeah also another thing remember that whole thing everybody was talking about oh run out of diesel at the end of november dude people are so full of shit don't listen to everything you see on youtube like you know just just don't you know or tiktok like some people are just so full of shit you know just to get you know views or to get people to worry but I mean, yeah, I kind of did get people to worry with what I said. I mean, but it's honestly the truth. I mean, our rates are going to go down from with the lanes that we run now. And it's it just sucks. But yeah, man, I know I haven't uploaded in like forever. Um, I've just been doing me, you know. I mean, I don't know. Let me know, guys. I mean, I can record the same stuff, you know, like I used to. But I just don't really record this, you know the same trip every time because it's you know nothing interesting happens to be honest and i don't want to sit here and be fake for the camera and oh my god this happened here and you know some st stupid crap like all these other freaking losers do just to try to get views just to stay afloat i mean personally i don't really care if the youtube thing dies out i mean at the end of the day you know youtube doesn't even really pay me anything anymore so i do it just you know for you guys honestly so yeah uh but on that note man i hope y'all enjoyed if you did you already know what to do i haven't really got to say much uh but yeah man i will probably catch you guys on the next one peace